guys and welcome back to my channel and uh i have a lot on my mind as we all do so let's start uh with the well let's start with last night's game a couple things i wanted to say about it is when i saw correa jump up in the air uh and i think it was aaron judge and it and it basically hit the edge of his the inside edge of his glove the whole ball was in there, but then it bounced out. I thought that was kind of a bad omen. I'm the, I'm the, uh, how do you say? I'm the type of person that believes, I don't think that's the way to say it, but I'm the type of person that believes that if Altuve is given a chance, then we're okay. So it was just for me always, no matter what happened around us, good or bad, is Altuve going to get a shot at the plate? And so I've watched a few times where he didn't. And uh, when he came up to the plate, uh, I wasn't really worried anymore. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. Uh, another bad thing is when Springer, and a good thing came out of it too, when Springer missed that uh, right field uh, catch, he was a little bit to the right, which is our left. And I think he might have had a really good chance at it. <laughs> Come on, that was going to be one of the hardest catches of all time. If uh, if he'd been in the right position and Reddick might have gotten it. But that's neither here nor there. Because Springer, I believe, well, he started out in right field with us. I don't know if he was groomed uh, a right fielder. But I remember when he first showed up, he was in... Um, in right field, and I'm trying to remember who was in center field. Was it was it like Carlos Gomez, Juan Gomez? Anyway, uh, so so he's played right field before, and I'm not going to second guess AJ Hinch. But when I saw that, the point of what I'm trying to say is when I saw him miss, and then I saw him up in the batting order, that I knew that good things were to come because I remember Game Five. When he dropped, uh, when that ball bounced in front of him, and on the next, on the, I'm not speaking too well today. On the next swing, he uh, got that home run over the train tracks. So I was pretty cool with him uh, missing that because I knew he was coming up to plate. Anyway, so uh, and then he ended up doing something great, which was giving that walk, which led to one of the greatest, if not the greatest moment of all time and there's some repercussions for that which i'll get into later in another video that i'm thinking and planning out and i really appreciate you guys listening to my videos uh i'm not exactly sure but in the beginning people were like oh this guy doesn't know what he's talking about oh this is the worst announcer of all time now you guys say really nice things and i appreciate it um the, the negativity fuels me, but the positivity, I think, fuels me more. So let's look at the first one, which is one of my favorites. Daver, Daver S. This announcer is so chill and cool. The one thing that that uh, people could copy me, and I've had some of the other media corporations jump in and kind of advertise their media, which I delete as soon as I see it. And they're just, uh, you know, they're just kind of, how do you say like a leech. They're just trying to grab everybody's news and, and you know, kind of monopolize the uh, baseball media market. I'm not going to say their names, but they keep putting their little ads and they're saying, oh, I didn't realize I'm at Chris's channel. I don't know how I clicked on this. Why don't you go to blah, blah, blah. And so anyway, um, this is also my favorite comment. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The one thing I was going to say is the one thing you really can't change in this world is your personality. So if you guys start a, a baseball channel or if you guys start a channel or whatever you do in life with your job, you're going to add your own personality to it. It cannot be duplicated. Um, I think it's really important to know that every person is unique. You just can't duplicate it. What Altuve, for example, is doing right now cannot be duplicated it's he's one of a kind and you guys are one of a kind anyway that's my philosophical point there josh v awesome comment we need to get chris to meet altuve asap yeah i'm glad i changed my uh my screen name from cpr rickster gaming which i really liked it just didn't make sense after a while um to uh chris's baseball snacks which i like a lot more Yes, I need to meet him. <laughs> I've come so close. I have not met him. Okay, Sean R. 
Let's expand this. This is the smarts of Altuve. Knowing that Chapman ran from Springer because he pitched Springer outside of the zone and just kind of ran away from him the whole time. So it was, I don't know, it was weird. Uh, but what Chapman forgot was that Altuve doesn't need the ball to be over the plate to hit a homer. <laughs> oh my god, that's so true. Uh, <laughs> yes, I. You know what? I, I think Chapman did completely forget that. That is so funny. It's so true. So the pitch he threw, belt high and slightly off the plate. Uh, yeah, it was belt high. At the, I think at the bottom of the belt, but I think it was uh, on the left side of the inner part of the zone. Was just was just the pitch Jose was looking for. <laughs> oh God, that's so true. That's so true. Beautiful, and I agree. It was beautiful, Sean. Thank you, man. Uh, your feedback's very intelligent. Uh, every time I read your messages, I really enjoy it. Okay, going to some other comments. Enrique L. Enrique Lopez. Jose Altuve from Puerto Cabello, Carababo State, Venezuela to Houston and the world. In Venezuela, baseball's a religion. I know baseball was created um, in, I believe, between 1840 to 1850 on the Elysian Fields because I think it was a firefighting station that uh, they wouldn't let them use their little space to play town ball. So all of a sudden they rented a space that was much bigger and they started diagramming the game of baseball. It's a cool story. I have to read it again. I didn't know this was going to come up right now, but I can say this, uh, and Venezuela adopted it is, is their, is their pastime and uh, Venezuelan players are good in a, yeah, no, I really, I really like it. Let me love his comment. Let's go a little bit further. Sean R. Again, two things to take away from this series. We got revenge on Tanaka. I agree. And your favorite baseball hitter on the planet, which is true, came through in the deep, deep clutch. We all love Altuve. Let's look at my reply. Yes, we did get revenge, but I still respect Tanaka also, which is true. Thank you, Sean. Michael Angelos, I saw a better at bat in the final inning of the Little League World Series. The kid was throwing a two-hitter and the batter was the last batter in the bottom of last batter up in the bottom of the last inning, which I believe is the seventh. Fouled off two wicked swings to go 0-2 and then worked the pitcher to a full count. Pitcher throwing smoke. Kid fouled off pitch after pitch, just wicked swings. Finally, on the 11th pitch, he lined out to third base. Awesome and bad I've ever seen. I like that comment. He didn't really say who he's talking about, so we can't look it up. But I can say this. The pitching level he was pitching against was different. But no, I get it. I get it. And I'm not going to argue with people. And uh, I want to see that at bat. Send me the link. ADD kid. It will never beat last night's walk-off homer to advance to, to the World Series. Sleepy Tickle. Incredible. Chit from Chinola. Now the second best at bat of all time. Let's view my reply. Ha <laughs> ha. Good reply. <laughs> After his home run to send them to the World Series the other night, he's definitely a future Hall of Famer. Uh, <clears throat> he's more than that. He's transcendent. This guy has altered the history of baseball. I'm going to get into that later. More like the worst pitch of all time. They're talking about my my old video, the, the greatest at bat of all time. It gets a lot of views, so it gets a lot of traction. And another one last night. Altuve is a monster. Another greatest at bat of all time he's talking about. This is all in conjunction with the greatest at bat of all time. I'll vote for the Kirk Gibson homer, but this one is in the same conversation. Thank you for watching, Ernest. Oh, this one's good. This one's good. I had I had some really good replies last night. They need to start chiseling a statue of Jose Altuve right in front of Minute Maid Park. Now, LOL, total legend status. Santos O oh, Santos. Okay, my reply was great reply. 
Okay, dogs at play. Good analysis. I bet you're feeling pretty smart today after Altuve hit that two-run homer to take us back to the show. <laughs> the real show. <laughs> Ghost Rose. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't want to reply to this out of humility. Uh, let's see what I said. I just love Altuve. He is so good. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm going to reply to the, I bet you're feeling pretty smart today. I think deep down and subconsciously, I do feel that I'm trying to hold it back because um, mine's just a little channel. Mine's nothing. I just, this whole part of the channel started because I just felt like he's the greatest player on the planet. And I just wanted a couple hundred people to agree with me, you know, and I just wanted to share the news of what's coming with the Astros. And we're watching this golden era of Altuve. And I just wanted to get this good feeling going around that Houston got the greatest hitter on the planet. And, and um, if you think about the clutchness of, the hit in game five, the hit, in, or I'm talking about the World Series, the game two World Series, the game five World Series last night, and the repercussions and impact of all that. Uh, I truly believe that this is the greatest hitter on the planet. And I also believe that, um, I also believe that he just comes through in the clutch and he changes things. And um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, it wasn't about being smart. It was just about, you know, getting a few people to agree. And I'm glad you guys do. Okay, next. Victor Delgado. Yes, yes. He is the best player of the year. Uh, I agree. Jennifer N. Lock go. Let's go. Staying sober. Kurt, 88 World Series. I agree with you. Uh, I'm going to answer this little bit longer than normal. I agree with you because of uh, the injury. It was a game one and, um, you know, he was hobbled. So that's what makes it a little bit different. Um, also, it had Vin Scully doing the gameplay. So there's, there's a big difference with that one. Um, I have my reasons for liking that and it if uh, this one, and it's because of the transcendence of Altuve, the background and body of work. Kirk Gibson was not the greatest hitter on the planet. Altuve was, and that up until this point, or up and you know, maybe up until yesterday, I'm still thinking it out how I'm going to do another video. But up until yesterday, this was his finest moment. And he's had so many of them, so it's hard to uh, extract. But when you look at the body of work of Altuve, I say Altuve has a better body of work and transcends the moment. But as far as the hobble part, I get it. I get it. Okay. Rashad Allah. Love Altuve. Yes, me too. Okay. Ron Jaime. Okay. You're going to have to make another video. 2019 Game 6 ALCS. <laughs> you're making me laugh. Stroh's Yankees. Altuve hits a walk-off home run. Stroh's win the pennant. Let's see what my reply was. It's coming. Just trying to get the clip with quality, which is true. And also, um, you know, I make this channel for my subscribers, not for the people that just stroll in, watch once, and leave. So I have lost probably 200,000 views not making this clip last night, but I was tired. And so Google doesn't pay very well. So um, I'll just say I'll just say this: the clip is coming for my subscribers. My subscribers, whether I put it out today or tomorrow, they're in seventh heaven. The World Series is coming, but I promise you guys, the video clip is coming. I just want it to come with a little bit of quality this time. I'm terrible at video editing. You guys have always accepted that about me. Thank you. I'm probably not going to get better anytime soon. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but yes. Okay, Daniel E. Ah, such a beautiful at bat. I agree, I agree. Almost like a replay last night by Altuve to send the Strohs back to the World Series to taking down the Yankees. Wow, read more. This guy is incredible. Puts his whole body, body into that swing. Powerful, powerful man. 
yes, he's powerful. Yes, beautiful at bat. And yes, it was like a replay of what we've already seen before in many aspects. Uh, there was a few differences, which I'll get into later. Let's look at my reply. Let's go. <laughs> Max Hun. Uh, you know, this guy is making a, a the natural joke from the movie. No way, not even close. The greatest at bat was Roy Hobbs. Roy Hobbs was bleeding. Roy was in tremendous pain. Roy had a son he never met in the stands watching. Okay, yeah, you know, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. And I like Max. I've already started to reply to him a little bit. Um, Albert C. So, not so many. So many haters on the Astros to be, 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 get over it. I don't even watch baseball. Uh, but their hate is ridiculous. Well, if you don't watch baseball, you're missing out. This guy, oh, okay, Chandler Jones. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Thanks for watching, Chandler. I hope you have a good day. This was one of my first videos, and I definitely knew. And, oh, oh, and I was definitely new. I hope you enjoy my new videos. Oh, you know what? I have to edit this. It was, it was actually new. I was definitely new. Anyway, my grammar's terrible on these, but nobody uses grammar anymore, even though I do know. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Glad the Dodgers choked this year. Laughing out loud, choke LA. Me too, but that's for another video. I don't want to gloat too much. Um, you know, the Dodgers didn't want to see us, but I wanted to see them, to tell you the truth. I, uh, but, you know... Um, my analysis of the World Series is that we're going to win. And I just think because uh, we just have the better team. Uh, the Nationals look good. I'm going to get into this later, but since you guys got this far in the video, I'll just go with it. And yeah, if you look at what we went through, they they got the Cardinals. We got the Yankees. I could go into it more and more and more. When you look at our lineup and our pitching depth and our balanced attack with Bregman, Springer, Altuve, um, Correa, the heart, those guys are becoming the heart and soul of the team. That's like our fabulous four guys. And, uh, and to put Brantley and Reddick and Alvarez, who's swinging at everything right now. That guy swings at balls at his ankles. Anyway, next. Oh, Tony Rebel. I like this. Well, little Jose banged one out of the park for good measure. And we're going back to the World Series. Yes, sir. He did it again. Wishes do come true. Okay. Dennis W. And today's homer against Chapman of the Yankees to walk off. The AL pennant win. What else can you say about this guy? Rob go Ro, Rob go all ALD. Okay, Altuve sent them to the series with a clutch walk off home run in the ALCS ninth inning, tied four to four. Araldis Chapman pitching absolutely love my strows. Uh... Oh, I, I can't even repeat this one. Karma to the Yankees fans for Andres. I'm skipping that, but and Andres, keep watching. Uh, don't use the F word too much, please. Jose Altuve is the best. Now the world knows. I just watched your video about the greatest at bat when he crushed the full count three run home run to tie the Dodgers in game five. Hey, thanks for watching it. So I had to look on your page to see if you posted anything about tonight. And yes, you did with more to come, I'm sure. The question is, does this bat, and I'll use your quote, with so much on the line, does this bat top your previous choice for the greatest at bat? <laughs> oh, I have to rank my own at bats over each, my own videos? And, oh, this is funny. Okay, okay. I think it does, even though it sends them to the World Series and not actually the World Series. 
Let me know, laughing out loud. By the way, I'm in Austin. Hey, Austin. Uh, when are you guys going to get a baseball team? I know you guys have a minor league team. I know. I'm still processing what happened. I'm emotional right now. Yes, I'm going to create some videos about this. This is crazy. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Max Wagner. I think your guy Altuve got a better at bat tonight. He's comparing it to my viral video. Orlando Chavez, a Hall of Famer already. Incredible. I, I totally agree. Hi, Zats McGee. Go Astros. I'm still celebrating. Oh, man. I totally agree. I've been so, so relaxed about this. Anyway, thanks, guys. One more. N Soto. Great energy in this video. Congrats to the Astros and you. Last one. Last one. Thank you. I'm happy. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, take care. I'll catch you guys a little bit later with some better quality videos.